This video explains how to convert a pandas data frame to a list object using the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor, as you can see in the second code box. So in the first lines of this box, I'm creating a new data frame called data, and then I'm using the print function to print this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, our example data frame contains seven rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. So let's assume that we want to convert only one of these columns, or more precisely, the column x1 to a list object. Then we can apply the toList function, as you can see in the third code box. And we need to apply this function to a subset of our data set. So in this case, we want to convert the column x1 to a list. And for that reason, we are using square brackets to extract only the values of the column x1 from our data frame data. And then I'm storing the output of the toList function to a new data object that I'm calling list1. And then I'm also using the print function to print the output of this list object below the code box. So after running these lines of code, a new list called list1 is appearing below the code box, which contains the values of the column x1 as a list object. So in this first example, I have explained how to convert a column of a data frame to a list. However, it's also possible to convert a row of a data frame to a list object. And we can do that, as you can see, in the next lines of code. So in the fourth code box, I'm using the log attribute to subset our data frame and to extract only the values of the very first row of our data set. Then I'm using the values attribute and the toList function to create a list based on these values. And I'm storing this list in a new list object called list2. And I'm also printing this output below the code box using the print function. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, a new list containing the elements of the first row of our data set has been created. So in this case, this list contains the values 10, 7, and 23. It's also possible to convert all the values in a data frame to a list object, as I will show you in the last example of this tutorial that you can see in the fifth code box. So in this case, I'm once again using the values attribute and the toList function to convert the values in our data frame to a list object. And in this case, I'm calling this list object list3. We can print this list object below the code box using the print function, as I have already done in the previous examples. And then you can see that our list contains all the values of our data frame in a single list object. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.